Yo, what's up? What's up? What's up? Thank you for tuning in. Well, I am just chilling and playing a little Gran Turismo today. Man, so excited for this game. So excited for this wheel and pedal set that I just got that came out. Got the Fanatec shifter over here. Got the Fanatec wheels. CSL Elite for PS4. Uh, got Gran Turismo going on, man. So we're just going to be kind of chilling for a little bit right now. Um, I'm calling this a day one because this is the first day playing it. But it's not the first day. I mean, this isn't my first time playing it today. I played it a little bit before I went to work. And so um, I went through like all of the beginner license tests. Um, and so I got a few more license tests to go. Um, so I might do a few license tests real quick because I kind of want to knock those things out. And then once I uh, once I do some, some more of the license tests, I'm just gonna hop in and uh, maybe go into some races and stuff like that. I'm not gonna start like my career or anything like that right now because I want to, uh, I just wanna get like a lot better with the wheel. I'm still trying to learn it. I've only had it for um, just a few days. I played a little Project Cars on it, but that was about it. Um, and I did a couple of license tests with it earlier, so. Um, so yeah, man, let's hop in here. I gotta remember where to go uh, for the um, license test and everything, buy cars. But yeah, man, I am uh, super excited. Oh, there we go. Um, so driving school. So I'm gonna knock out a couple of these, uh, knock out a few of these intermediates. I did um, some of the beginners, as you can see earlier. Uh, got a few golds. I don't really care personally about trying to get all golds or silvers and this stuff. I really just kind of want to knock it out so I can learn this wheel and uh, get out on the track, man, and, and start doing some things. So we will uh, run through a few of these tests, man, and, and just chill and relax. I'll probably hop online here in a little bit and uh, play a little bit online as well. Let me see. Let me if I can move this camera just a little bit back or I think that's cool so um, so yeah so let's go ahead and hop into it here you're gonna see me do like this a lot because I have the um, I do uh, some racing and stuff like that on uh, project car so I have a couple displays in front of me right here and so those displays are going to, uh, those displays get in the way of, uh, of the screen a little bit, but I haven't taken them down because I'm gonna hop back into Project Cars in a little bit and play that. So I don't wanna take all of that stuff down. So, so yeah, man, we're just chilling out, so. So let's hop into a couple of these here um, and get it cracking. Overall, man, I really love the way that the wheel feels on this game. It feels so, oh man, that was terrible. It feels so much different than uh, Project Cars. I'm not saying it in a good or bad way, it's just different. It has a different feel to it. And so, um, you know, I like the way that Project Cars feels, but I also like the way that this feels too. You know, Project Cars, of course, it gives you that, that whole, you know, sim, like super sim feeling. And I think that this does too. This does a really good job um, with force feedback, but I'm not gonna lie. I actually, oh crap, I actually kind of, kind of like driving, driving this a little bit better. Um, just because it's just a little bit smoother. So the, um, the wheel mechanics and things like that. Also, just the way it's set up, like you can really feel the, really feel the road a lot, man, which is, which is cool. So, 
like we're going over bumps and things like that. That's something I haven't really experienced um, in in uh, Project Cars with the wheel, like those little bumps and stuff that you feel. And I think it's just more so like a calibration thing. Like I just feel like I need to calibrate the wheel a little bit better, and uh, and that'll make a little bit more sense. So we're just gonna go through a few of these, man, and just chill. I'm just getting out of work, so I didn't get a chance to really like do any of this stuff today like if I didn't have to work or if it, was, if it was the weekend I probably would have already banged out like most of these license tests and stuff and uh and whatnot so we um uh, we are just gonna knock some of this stuff out today so one thing is uh so it takes a little while to load I'm not really a big fan of that um, another thing that I that I am kind of noticing just just playing this from uh, a couple of you know the, oh crap man so I gotta get used to that man I gotta get used to that I feel like see I haven't really messed with like the rotation or anything like that on the wheel I feel like maybe that's something that I I haven't I think I saw an auto rotation right now where it chooses like the rotation for me, but I'm kind of feeling like I need to like change that a little bit and uh, choose something else. Oh man, oh man, that was terrible. Oh, the... oh really? I thought they were, I thought they were going to end it. Let me just hit the wall to end it. Man, I'm looking terrible right now. I gotta get a lot better. I gotta get a lot better than that. Let's have it here one more time. See what we can do. See what we can do. You can probably, the wheel work back, I can probably stand to have a little bit more force feedback. Um, I have it down pretty low, but I'm just trying to get used to it. Damn, I know, I'm, I know I'm terrible, but I'm not that terrible with this wheel right now. Let's start over again. I don't know why it's so hard. Probably because I'm talking. too soon. Wow. Man, I'm having a hard time with this. <laughs> I a lot more, I'm having a much, much harder time than I, than I thought that I would have. Let's see. Let's see, on that break, I'm going to get to the inside. Send it out. And... Oh yeah, bronze. That's what I'm looking for. I'm not worried about any gold or nothing like that. I can care less. Bronze is perfect for me, personally. All right, so let's go ahead and go to the next one. I find, I mean, I'll be honest and say, I, I find this process a little bit monotonous. Um, having to go through and like do these licenses and stuff like that. Even the way like the game's kind of like presented and stuff like that. It's kind of like, come on man, like Gran Turismo's been out or all these different racing games have been out for like a really long time. You know, necessarily need to be like, you know, I don't want to say coddled, but like, I don't know. It's just kind of like, you know, they make you watch a little video about like sportsmanship or whatever the case may be or whatever. I'm like, eh, you know, that's cool, but from a personal standpoint, it's just kind of like redundant. Like, I'm going to probably spend an hour like running through you know, these particular like tests and stuff, especially because the screen takes so long to load. And uh, I'm gonna spend all this time like running through these tests and all of this stuff. And I don't know, I mean, I guess, I will say, I mean, it does give you a feel for, a feel for what you're looking, what you're uh, looking to get from the game. Gives you a chance to kind of like practice and things, so I guess I'll give that to him. That was super slow. I guess I'll give that to him, but uh, I'm way too cautious there. But I don't know, it just seems a little redundant to me. That's something that I like about Project Cars where you can just crank it up, you know, turn it on, hop into a race like immediately, you know, you have to worry about going through all of these tests and getting, you know, 
all the licenses and all of this type of stuff. So, hey, I'm good with it. Browns again, I love it. Um, but I do love, I love just the way that this thing looks, man. It's just, it's crazy. It looks, it looks amazing. One thing that I did personally, like when I first started, is um, they give you the option to kind of change you know, the color and saturation and things like that. But from a personal standpoint, um, I went ahead and just turned like the saturation down. I think I have the saturation and the color on 93 out of the option, out of 100, uh, because I wanted to, uh, I'm just gonna complete the like 28, 29, 30, 32, and then I'm just gonna be down for right now. And I'll do the other ones like at a later time, probably just hop online and try to do some races and stuff like that. But just want to get a little bit more feel for the wheel, but uh, but um, but yeah, I don't, I can't remember what I was about to say, but I uh, yeah, I, I lost my train of thought, but um, yeah, but overall, I mean, this is cool. I mean, it gets you points, it gets you like XP or money or whatever you want to call it. You get to kind of get some cars and stuff by doing these tests, get a little feel for it for the wheel and the world and stuff, but. I don't know. It's a little redundant to me. Now the bronze, baby. I love it. Love it. Let's keep getting these bronzes out of the way. I'm sure you get some, you know, amazing car, a whole bunch of points or something if you get all golds. But honestly, like I said, this is a kind of arduous kind of uh, kind of process for me, and I, I kind of just want to. Dang it! Don't tell me I did that. Okay, I thought I restarted that. I just really kind of want to get it over with, you know. So, but uh, oh, that's what I was saying. Um, before, like I went ahead and went in and uh, turned the saturation down. But I just felt like it was like a, just a little bit too colorful. Like when I first started, I'm like, and I mean, of course, you can just change that stuff on your TV, of course, or whatever. But I uh, just felt like it was just a little bit too colorful. And I wanted it to have more of a um, more of a realistic look and everything. So. I mean, later on or something, I might come back and, you know, knock out these, th redo them and, you know, try to get all golds or something. But, like, I really just kind of want to be done with this whole process. So, but it is fun. I will say it does give you the opportunity to, to learn. Um, it gives me the opportunity since I'm not... Uh, You know, um, since I've never, uh, since this is my first time ever, like in life or anything, you know, racing with a wheel, it uh, it does give me the opportunity to to get a nice feel for uh, give give me the opportunity to get a nice little feel for uh, for the uh, wheel. So let's go ahead and get this one started. I thought the road was actually going to the right. I don't know why I thought that. Was. Probably because I can't see the map. Because my face is up there.
Oh, silver. Another thing, man. I feel like I don't really think that this should default to uh, to being in uh, automatic transmission. I think you should be able to choose manual if you want to, if you want to complete some of these, because um, it will give you a faster time because uh, you can control your shifts. And for me, somebody that's never used, like I've never used a shifter in my life. I've never driven a driven a stick. I've never um, owned a car with a stick or anything like that. So if you could use that in some of these tests, um, it would give you the opportunity to get comfortable with it before you actually hop into the uh, hop into a race or something like that. So we uh, that's just one thing to kind of point out in my humble opinion, but. It's just my opinion. Just my opinion. I lift it because I'm not familiar with the tracks. Actually, I ain't familiar with the tracks. I'm telling you, this is not familiar. You can see, like, I'm just going to take my hand off the wheel a little bit. And you can just see how much the wheel moves just over the road surface like that. I love that. That's really cool. I don't get that movement like that in Project Cars right now. It's something I'm gonna have to, uh, oh crap, I hate when I do that. I, uh, I that into the test. It's something that I gotta figure out with uh, Project Cars, how to, how to get that to happen. But uh, I love how much you can feel the road. Like I said, I'm gonna take my hands off here and you can see wheel moves around a lot, you know, over the road surface, and I think that that's cool, so. All right, so we got bronze, that's perfect, we'll move on, and I think we got one more until we get another, uh, until we get another uh, car, reach another milestone here, so. You know, a few things man like when the when the demo came out you know everybody was you know all up in arms and upset and whatnot about the the shifter not working it's funny i bought the i bought this combination maybe like two or three days before um let me check something real quick actually um two or three days before check and make sure yeah I bought this like two days before um, I bought the wheel set and everything like two days before uh, everything came out I mean uh, the demo came out and so when it released it you know and, and the wheel wasn't working with the demo you know everybody was all up in arms you know and stuff like that for me, I was just like, you know what, man? Like, I'm not even concerned about that. Like, I know that they're gonna get it working. You know, there's no way that they're not gonna get it working. Now. There's some things like, and I know there's like third-party software and stuff. Like, it's my first time, you know, using the wheel and stuff. So I gotta like, oh wow. <laughs> so I gotta kind of figure that out. But I know there's like third-party software and stuff that will allow you to like map the buttons and stuff. I don't think that the option's available right now because the game doesn't really recognize recognize this fanatic wheel like that, so I don't think button, button mapping is really an option right now, but uh, 
I don't care anything about that. Like, I can use the PS4 for now and, uh, and be good to go. Wow, that's terrible. What the heck? Two, about two and a half seconds above where I need to be, so I'm, I'm being a little bit too cautious in through these turns. I think that that little brake indicator popping up kind of throws me off a little bit. take it, take another bronze, and I think I get a car now, so I'm perfectly good with that, so, so boom, 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 come on in, and um, let's see what we got, I think I get a car, oh yeah, give me something good, let's see what I get, let's see what I get, See what I get. Oh, got a nice AMG, nice Mercedes AMG. That's awesome. So nice, beautiful, beautiful car. SLS AMG GT3 2011. And I completed all driving school and got me a car. Sweet. No, I haven't painted any cars or anything yet. So we're good there. I think like, man, I'll just do a little bit like a little bit every now and again. I'm not gonna uh, stress myself out with trying to get all those licenses, but but that's good. Like it gives me, it gave me a, a good uh, good feel for the wheel and and what I'm looking at right now. So um, and I got a new course, Kyoto Driving Park. I'll take it. Cool, man. So I think what I want to do, man. No, I kind of feel like just racing a little bit um, and just getting used to the wheel. Um, I think I'm gonna hop into uh, to a little lobby here. Now I don't know if it works the same as it did before. Um, like, do I have to? Do I have to like get into a car here and then go to? of the multiplayer or let's see what we got so I feel like how about that oh this is just livery looking for my garage so I'm thinking I'm wondering if I gotta hop in here first so let's see what we have we have Toyota we got that uh, GT3 car that I just got and we got the 86 GT. We got a Civic. Um, I, I haven't driven this Porsche. I was reading some stuff on the forums earlier that this Porsche is a lot to deal with, man. Let me hop in a GT3 car and uh, and uh, and see what we got here. Car settings, change the livery, change the driving gear, view car, change the background, and photo, car settings. No, we're not gonna worry about any of that right now. And then we'll go back. Alright. So let's hop into the lobby. I don't think that you'd have to leave and come back um, or anything, so. Uh, let's see what's going on right now. So let's see if we have any. Probably not. It's kind of late. But let's see if we have any race for reals out there. Anybody on track? We got some twos. We got some sixes at Nurburgring. Um. Oh, Brent's Hatch. Race for real. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let's hop in here. Let's see, what's, see what we're working with. Let's see what we're working with. So yeah, that, like that's what I was thinking. I'm like, man, can I, I should be able to change my car in here. I don't think I need to go all the way back out to my garage to change my car. It's just loading right now. But, uh, but yeah, man, when I was playing yesterday, one thing that I noticed and I, I don't know if that's something I, I just have to figure out how to map or what, but 
the clutch just was non-existent when it came to uh, using the shifter. So you can spectate doing some uh, practicing right now so uh, oh no I'm sorry yeah yeah I can enter a course right now just go to practice okay. no, practice first and then hop in so bear with me oh crap this is my first time driving this car so let's see let's see how good or bad I am something I'm missing? There must be something I'm missing. <laughs> what am I missing? I must be missing something. What the heck is going on? I have no idea what's going on right now. Why I'm not moving. Clutch thing? Is the clutch working now? No. Okay, I, I have no idea what's going on right now. Uh, let me exit that. That was the strangest thing ever. <laughs> what the heck was that? Okay, so we'll try it again. We'll hop in and and try it again. I don't know what just happened there. Uh, so we'll exit the room. And then we'll pop into another room and see if I can drive. Like, what the heck is going on? It was, that was really strange. So we'll... Now, I had this happen before. Oh, man, that would suck. I hope this doesn't happen again. That would really suck. I tried to leave a... Uh, I tried to leave an online session before and just got this black screen and it, it never left and I had to restart the game. So I don't know if that's like a glitch or something that's going on right now or what, but that would really suck for this live stream if I have to leave. And nothing's working. PS4 buttons working, but I mean PS buttons working, but oh man, that's, that really sucked. I forgot that happened to me before. I'm just going to give it a second, man. Sometimes, I don't know, maybe it's loading or something like that. I'll give it a couple seconds to to figure out what it wants to do. But, uh, but yeah. And that was really weird. I have no idea why I wasn't moving there. But let me give it a second because I, I would hate to have to end this live stream and start it all over again. Uh, I didn't read anything about that. I... I'm trying to cover the uh, forums all day and stuff and uh, and uh, things. So
well, looks like we got a little bug here and looks like I'm going to have to uh, restart the application. So it'll probably kick me out for this live stream. So stay tuned for part two and uh, we'll be back in a minute.